So um, we are going to create an uh, administrator account that would use um, the remote LDP server to log into um, FortiGit. So let's log in with our local account. So yeah, we begin uh, by going to user authentication to check verify our LDP server um, setup. So we have the name, the IP address of the LDP server, the server port, and the common name identifier. Then the distribution name um, should be specified. I specified my eyes as this uh, um, regular. The username, um, the username must, or must have like the admin right on your HD server. Then the password and test connectivity. Um, okay, now we, we set up our LDP server. We go to user groups and create um, create a user group. Um, we are creating a user group um, on 40 gig. But you are going to reference um, the user group that has been created on the HD. Um, so test admin. We use the firewall. Then um, we connect to um, the remote server, which, which is the LDP server that we just set up. Then we have this set. Then um, I will search for the group that we want to bind, like um, the group that has been created on the HD that our users are in that we want to. Um, login with and then this is the user group then we we, we right, right click on this and select ok um, press ok then we add this uh, as part of this then we go to um, system um, we go to system then set up uh, the administrator um, account then you create a new uh, admin login details now we have the username we have the local user which is the account created locally on 40 gates that's what we log in with um on this 40 gate in the beginning of the video we have match user match a user on the remote server so um this place or uh, in a group of on um, that's been created only a single user will be matched so we have to uh, specify the username of that user in uh, in that group that should be match which is um myself Bawale. then you have to have a backup um password in case um there is um there is there is no communication with this adb server when i want to um when i want to connect so we can make use of the backup um server backup password um, for that then administrator um, profile yeah I, I only want to create like i want to create a read only access um profile for um for this user so that we won't be able to edit anything can just be able to view and all that then yeah can can create here then um at this uh, page just name it at the read only access then after that we have to select all these features to be read only you know you can see that it's read and write i just want the user to be able to read to be able to view all the settings on on the 40 gate and not be able to modify and all that then i want to permit all use it to dscli yeah that's fine then click okay so yeah um i don't want to use yeah so you select the uh, test admin uh the test admin was the um was the user group that was created initially so we have to we have to use um the test admin which is this the, the last one that we created test admin select it but um i want to match all users um in a remote server group in in this case that means that all the users present in the group that i created would have access uh, remotely to this server so in this case i don't need to specify a username i can just name it remote um admin uh, maybe users so all the all the users present in, in this um, remote user group will have access to the and that's what I want to do because I have few users that I want to give um, access to in this so the users we have to log in uh, with their username and password from the um, active directory extent 